I'm Joanna, and this I'm artistic director of Core Productions, and this is our live show, La Boheme 2.0, Act 3. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel, like this video, ring the bell, and share it. That way, you'll get a notification about Act 4 coming up next week, Friday, May 29th. 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard. And if you have any other questions about time zones, feel free to email me. <clears throat> In lieu of ticket cost, which would benefit my company, we ask that you instead donate to the individual artists directly. That information can be found in the description below, but if you have any questions, please reach out to moderator and friend extraordinaire, Emily Cox in the chat. Any questions can also be sent to me, but will be answered later at joannamoffitt.korcore at gmail.com. And now for the synopsis. Some time has passed and Mimi and Rodolfo are living together. It's dawn and the city is opening to merchants and light traffic of the early morning. The guards wait to let people through the gates. While meanwhile, Musetta and others continue their carousing from the night before in a nearby tavern. Mimi enters the gates looking for the tavern so she can chat with Marcello. Marcello, surprised and happy to see his friend, fills her in that he and Musetta are living and working at the tavern. He's painting a mural and she teaches voice lessons to the people coming through. Mimi tells Marcello that Rodolfo has been incredibly jealous lately. Oh, no. We're currently experiencing a little technical difficulty. We'll be back shortly.
Everybody hear me now? We yes. can hear you now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, as I was saying, uh, I'm Elijah Lee. I'm the techno direct director. Despite the technical difficulties we're having tonight, I'm actually good at my job, so <laughs> don't worry. Um, <laughs> He's awesome. Jim and You're I would, amazing. Jim and I would gladly answer any questions that you guys might have about this whole process. And also keep in mind, tomorrow we'll be doing a watch party. So make sure you check out Joanna's channel and set a reminder for that. Make sure you also like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, this is the craziest thing about doing this live is that this is the reality. And why people don't do it is because sh shit like this happens. Pardon my French. <laughs> It's scary it's and unpredictable. <laughs> yes, but it also makes it fun. Uh, but it's also exciting and super fun for us. Mm -hmm. And what is like a nice like art, like it's, it's a nice way of like getting that pre-show jitters, you know? Like I feel like the same way about a before a show live as I do this because you get that excitement and nervousness before this because you don't know what's going to happen like in act one when my track went out halfway Hi. through and i had to be like, <laughs> all right she's back Me <laughs> How's it yet? that's right <laughs> how's it going, going we missed you good. we missed, missed you guys too good. Great. I'm trying to check my uh, internet, but of course, without internet, I can't check the status of my internet. So I don't know what, I don't know what, I was just trying to check the status. <laughs> A lot of internet is happening these days. So yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Yes. But, but Andrew, you were saying your internet, your uh, track cut out during the first show. Oh, in act one. Yeah. My track cut out halfway through and I like literally sang the second half of the act without it. And Def <laughs> the show must go on, as we say. So, you know, we have these fail safes going on in between, but that was like a new and first time doing that. And I didn't want the show to stop. So I just kept going and <laughs> guessed my best way through the thing. None of us were the and, wiser. Yeah, yeah, we had no idea. You except did it very well. Except, the, except if you know the show, and I was like two or three beats behind, but I'll blame it on internet lag and Well, that's that what stuff. I thought it was. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was lag. And I think what's like funny about that too is like the people watching on YouTube don't experience what we're experiencing, but we also have lag on our end in the Zoom yeah. chat. Yeah. So even if like Puccini is all about knowing everybody's parts, so you know how you fit in. 100%. Right? But we're not necessi necessarily. I think my favorite. Each other yeah. My time. favorite thing about what rewatching act one was like seeing when I started sweating a lot. <laughs> Cause like, <laughs> Oh my god, this is when shit hit the fan and I was like so screwed. Oh man. Oh boy. And I was like, yep, there's the beads of sweat to prove it. <laughs> That's when it happened. Well, yeah. if anyone ever had any questions about whether or not this was actually happening live in real time, well you have your answer. Yeah, yeah. one really. All right. Should we try again, you guys? Let's freaking yes. do this thing. Oh yeah. yeah. I almost Where hit was the I? Rubik's Cube again. So, you okay. were giving the synopsis or something. Yeah. I know, but okay. Or, uh, 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 you uh, had just started the Rodolfo's synopsis. Rodolfo's jealous. Yeah. Ah, Rodolfo's thank you. Rodolfo's jealous and Mimi's upset about that. Right. 
Let's try this right. again. I love right, this folks, so much. we're gonna reset in the <laughs> private chat for cues as well. Okay. Uh, I'll pull that up. <sighs> Hi, everybody, and we're back. I'm Joanna. In case you forgot, oh, we do this. I'm Mimi, in case you forgot. <clears throat> so, Marcello sees Rodolfo stirring inside and asks Mimi to go home so that they don't create a scene. He promises to talk to Rodolfo and get to the bottom of it. Mimi pretends to leave, but instead stands nearby where she can't be seen. Rodolfo comes out of the tavern saying that he wants to break it off with Mimi. She's been flirting with other men, he says. Marcello doesn't believe him, saying he's acting like a lunatic. Rodolfo admits he's trying to cover up his real feelings. He lowers his voice and says that Mimi is really ill, and she's getting worse every day in his cold apartment. He is torn apart by her sweet and positive nature, that her happiness only makes him feel more guilty. He hopes that she'll take a new lover, one that can afford to treat her well and help her get better. When Mimi realizes that she's dying, she breaks down sobbing and is discovered. Rodolfo immediately tries to calm her fears, saying he wasn't serious and that she should come inside. Mimi refuses. Marcello hears Musetta laughing from inside the tavern and runs back in in a fit of rage. Mimi says goodbye to Rodolfo, knowing that if they stay together, it will break both of their hearts. She asks that they part as friends. Rodolfo pleads with her, asking her to leave in the spring when it's easier to be apart. Musetta and Marcello come out of the tavern screaming at each other. Marcello accuses Musetta of cheating on him, and Musetta accuses Marcello ask, of acting like a jealous husband. They break up. Mimi and Rodolfo agree to stay together until it gets warmer out and walk home. And now, please enjoy Act 3 of La Boheme 2.0. Thank you. Jim, we can't hear you. I'm back. <laughs> All right. Space bars, everybody. One, two, three, four, one. Le guardie aprite. Hola. Quelli di gentili siamo le spazzini. Fiocca la neve. Hola. Qui san ghiaccia. In a petro, I Oh. Uh. 
ante l'alba se sopì sopra una panca guardate e tosse Sansa mi cerca. Viene. Non mi 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 per carità. Non fate scene qua. Finalmente, qui non ci sente, io voglio separarmi da Mimì. Se volvi così, già l'altra volta credetti morto il mio cuore.
Wow. I can't believe that you came back, Joe. Wow. That, that was, was impressive. Come back in Did history. Not miss a beat. Very impressive. Thank you. That's a professional, y'all. I was feeling some things. I was feeling some things. Okay, so we have the amazing Bernard Holcomb as Rodolfo. Amazing. Yes. We have the beautiful Lauren Berman as Musetta. We have the amazing and fantastic Andrew Wagman. Wow, I can't say it. Wagman as Tina <laughs> Marcello. I'm sorry, Andrew. <laughs> Can I get a do-over? <laughs> I was phenomenal. And me, I'm Joanna. Me, 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 yeah. me, me, me. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Can we turn that off? <laughs> yeah. Our team is Elijah Lee. Is our technical director, and James Lock is our amazing music director. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Let's see what we have in the chat tonight, you guys. <laughs> oh my god. Emoji from Mr. Vincent Door. Huh? Hey Vincent, what's up? What what did I say? I'm sorry, I missed oh, it. Oh, Vincent is Vincent Emily. Door. Yeah, I was gonna say Emily is Vincent. Oh yeah. So that was one thing that oh, was, yeah, um okay. Sam thing remember my, my brother was like, Hey, I love the emojis, but I didn't know what they were, so maybe you know, yeah, I meant to, to let them know, like, hey, we're not doing, we're doing a synopsis, we're not doing super titles, but we are doing emojis to kind of get the story <laughs> across. Well, my goal tonight was to have a link where people could go and read the text if they wanted to, but I had a tough week, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. That's real. Like, no, I don't tough. like that. I don't like people reading. The text I don't either, the but you know what? Like, some people want that. So. Yeah. I Some mean, I know, I know, like Parasite, I know Parasite won the Oscar, but like, no one wants to read Super Bad. Oh, someone's asking everybody. about the chorus. I think they left the Zoom chat. Oh, the, cor the chorus left. Yeah. The chorus left bye. the Zoom chat. But we applaud but we them. We love them. Yeah. They were amazing. Yes. Hey, bye. Seriously, these guys are are consummate professionals. Thank you so much to oh, Stuart, so all the Rachel, live theaters. Jason. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sorry, where was I? Uh, Mary, Mary, Alfredo, and Stuart? Did I say Stuart already? Yep. I don't know. Okay. You can Did say you his name again. Yeah. yeah, we got him all. Yeah. Uh, okay. Jason, <laughs> Rachel, Stuart, Mary, and Alfredo. Yeah, they were amazing. <laughs> they really, they really, uh, they really took this project on with grace. So. <sighs> oh, Rosemary. <Bruce, Mary. laughs> <Mary. laughs> Patrick Welch asks, who controls the equal volume? Not you. I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> um, I, yeah, Elijah. Elijah. Oh, he's above now. I, I, I do. I, yeah. I control yeah. it. I yeah. control the audio and the, and the kind of all the stuff behind the scenes. Should we tell him what happened? Oh, yeah. My <laughs> hand is still sore because of it. So <laughs> this is when... Great. Joanna uh, left the, the chat. We were just, me and Jim were talking, we have to stop, we have to stop. So I pressed the button to stop, and just as I do that, Joanna comes back, which means if I take my, my finger off the button, the, the thing stops. So I have to stand there, sit there, with my <laughs> finger pressed on the button for the rest of the show. It was like wow. a good six God, or seven can, minutes. He's got, yeah. he's got the codes, right, for the control key. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that, I'm sorry. Still, but, you know, it's That's it's so crazy. funny because he was still texting back and forth with me the whole time. I'm like, I'll stop I got bothering two, you. I got two hands. I'm yeah. I'm just thinking he's gonna need one of those hands for something other than texting, probably some other controls or something. But he he did it all with you guys, one hand. This is so amazing. Uh, we've got really great cool. comments. Uh, Linda Koziel says, "Thrilling performances, beautiful vocals." Great job, guys. Yes. Thanks, Linda. This is a Thanks, huge is thing deal. for everybody else. <laughs> so for the other three people in this act, this is like a beast. And they killed it. You guys are amazing. I mean, good. everyone got to hear how beautiful your voice is in act two, but we know that your acting chops are like in act three, right? This girl can act. What? 
I posed that question on Facebook. What's oh, everyone's favorite, favorite act of Bohem? I, I answered before. act three of Manon. <laughs> <laughs> last year at the Met, RIP. So, uh, what? Great. I saw Manon at the Met. Oh, did you? RIP. Yeah, it was great. Um, I Me mean, for Bohem, like, what's everyone's favorite act? The first Minus act is two. Minus three. Minus three. I know, I know. I mean, obviously, my favorite one to be in is the second act. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I really think oh, sorry. act one. I yeah. really love the guys' quartet at the beginning of Act Four. It's mm -hmm. so much fun. Mm -hmm. All the dancing and all that stuff. I can't yeah, wait yeah. to do that with you guys next week. <laughs> it's yeah, going to be so awesome. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Act Four is great. I, I mean, I love them all so much. I love Act One because it is just so, there's so many things going on and it's so perfect. And yeah. You establish that love and the arias and the duet and stuff. Um, act two is so great because of the chorus and the, just like the sheer spectacle and the fun nature of it all. Act three, because of all this drama that happens. Um, Somebody I just asked why Martella and Musetta break up. If you <laughs> want to put that in your answer. <laughs> well, I think, I think we're always hot and cold, you know, it's like, like we're why did why were we not together in Act Two? It's because we burned so hot, and then we break up, and then we like fall apart for a while, and then we were like, oh. but I they, still I think they're each other's people. To. Yeah, but I think, right. like Musetta has commitment issues for sure. She does not want to be oh. tied down. Uh, I don't know what Marcello's deal is. He just can't put up with her. We're all like bohemians right right um patrick when patrick welch wants to know how long it took you to record act three jim it was probably a good five hours all together i'm it it seems doesn't seem like a whole lot but when the whole act is 23 minutes you know you just got to make sure that it's just right um plus I, i'm sure you've noticed orchestration in this one yeah and I, that, that was a choice I made mostly because of just the very long sustained notes. They just don't work on a keyboard or a piano. Yeah, like that broadness and, of those, that singing and that orchestration, you really want it to like continue and to have the strings be involved, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, there's so many sustained notes. So I, I don't know how much of that will be in Act 4, but um, it, it definitely, I thought, helped for Act 3. Um, just to kind of keep things rolling. Um, otherwise, I probably would have had to speed some things up, which would have taken away from the whole affect. Um, but yeah, um, what am I doing during the performance? Um, <laughs> well, I'm back and forth with Elijah just to make sure that everything's good and on point. And, um, you know, I'm sure that... Um, the news media and public would have a field day if they ever got a hold of our text log of what goes on <laughs> between the performances. Um, and, you know, you know, we'd either be elected for public office or not elected. I'll just say that. I'll <laughs> say not elected. I'm yeah. pretty sure with Elijah on our side, we could run the world. Yeah. Like, but, I don't understand this magic. Yeah. But. I, either way, we're making opera great, so. <laughs> <laughs> um uh okay so vince oh em asks what are we most looking forward to in act four andrew you never got to finish your answer do you want to oh yeah about act four oh obviously i'm looking forward to my duet with rodolfo it's it's so beautiful for me, it's like the best music of the whole thing and yeah it's so great I'm like Almost crying just thinking about it. So yeah. Oh, I can't wait to hear you guys sing it. It's It'll gonna be, be so gorgeous. Beautiful. Lauren Berman asks if I'm drinking Evan Williams. You know it. <laughs> hey, you know I just want to make sure you're on brand. It's a pandemic, <laughs> like you gotta do what you gotta do. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, was that a fist bump? I'm there. Okay. Uh, Fred asks, do performers hear each other or just the orchestration? You want to take that one, Bernard? Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> it, 
Yes and no. There's an app that uh, Elijah recommended to us that allows us to turn down the singers in Zoom so that we can hear the track better. And so that was a big help to me because before I was having trouble hearing the track and so that would add to the lag issues. So thank you, Elijah, for making it possible for me to hear the track really strongly, even though I love you guys. I love your voices. It's great. I just don't- I know, I can't wait to watch this tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you, I haven't turned down the chat at all and it was the most synced that it's been, for sure. It was very oh. synced to yeah. me. Yeah. That's the same. Nice. Really cool. Yeah, so definitely like sometimes like the lag issues are a thing, you know, where right. it's like, Rodolfo's singing and my entrance is coming up, but he from my ear is behind the beat and I've got to trust what the like recording is doing in the track. So that's always like really hard, especially with a opera like Bohem or Puccini where it's like back and forth and it's conversational. So you almost have to like jump on people's lines, you know? It's like very yeah. 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 There were a couple of times where I was like, this like if I if I sing now, I'm gonna be in the middle of what I hear coming to my ear. But it sounds right with the track, so mm. I don't know. I think it motivates my character a little bit, honestly. <laughs> to like be jumping on people's lines. I'm like, yeah, Musetta would do that anyway. <laughs> so, true, true. It feels right. She works it. <laughs> um, Sam, uh, Samantha Nicodemus. That's my best friend, you guys. Hi, Sam. Uh, <laughs> she asked, how difficult was it to stage this act? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I don't know. I felt like I was stressed out about it. I don't know how it was for you guys, like, thinking about your character and working through stuff. But um, this thing with, like, hiding myself, it did. it just didn't work. It's hard because I only have so far to to step away right and so what do you do like you're just like, the best that you can <laughs> right <laughs> here i am hiding well um sam suggested this which i was like yeah i'm excited but then elijah was like that puts you out of focus <laughs> so i was like oh crap i, I, can't I, think, do that. I think ultimately all this stuff with especially with zoom is about acting and reacting, you know? Right. So if somebody's acting into the, this is very much like, much more like film and television style of acting. Yeah. And it's so different from what we're used to because we're used to being uh, extravagant and kind of almost over-exaggerated because we're on a stage in a theater to where it has to read hundreds of feet away, you know? Uh, whereas yeah, this yeah. is like picks up every little bit of minutia. So it's all about like the face and it's all about what we're doing into the camera. And um, yeah, I think I think it's more important about playing angles, playing eyes and all the what you're doing with your face versus it being about, oh, I'm downstage here and you're singing to me to make it both for you to project your voice downstage, but also like for you to be open and present, you know, it's like, these are all things that you think about when you're a singer and you're like, no naturally, but when you're doing this in a zoom type of situation, it's totally different. It feels very strange. I kind of love it. Like I, I, I like really enjoy responding to Andrew because he's really good at like. <laughs> oh, he's such a great actor! You guys are amazing together. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so it's like really like I feel like the first time we'll go through things, I'm so focused on like acting and the notes and all of that. But then the moment that I have a chance, and I think it's easier because I really only have one person to feed off of. But the moment that I get the opportunity to then look at what my counterpart is doing, then it like just fuels what I'm doing. And it feels real, like it feels intimate and real. And like, I'm surprised. I didn't think it would feel like that, but I really enjoy it. Lauren, didn't you switch rooms? I'm just on a different wall. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I remember you said you were going to move somewhere. Yeah. And I just seen change. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now I'm outside the town. I did a scene. <laughs> You're a genius. I love it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, my bar is across the room. Bernard has got that classic solid background. I know. It's so beautiful. 
Mm-hmm. So Thank you. Some people are wondering why it's so dark. Like Joanna wanted us to have the lighting on the right side. So yeah. It well, it's nighttime. Kind of create not... nighttime. Well, so there's two scenes going on, right? He's still, he he's still glow up though, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he's beautiful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, we had the the inside of the tavern, right, versus the outside, and so I was trying to create through lighting some sort of semblance of of difference between the two spaces. You know, we did the best that we could with what we had, um, but I think that it was really uh, for me when I was watching it, it felt like I could see the difference. You know, like there's like this beautiful, joyous. Uh, light and energy happening inside of the tavern and then outside is like sadness and despair. <laughs> so <laughs> well, the, the funny thing about <laughs> act three is that you see the crumbling relationship of Marcello and Musetta. And what's my name? <laughs> That's why we don't yeah, last. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mimi and Rodolfo rekindle. So it's like this juxtap- juxtaposition of all that stuff, you know? Right. Like, it's like, oh, like at the beginning of the act, it's like, I'm talking about how solid I I am with Musetta. I mean, it is. Oh, thing. we're so great. I'm doing this and she's doing that and we're good. And by the end of the act, it's like, we're <laughs> not so good. <laughs> I love that, like, you tell me not to create a scene and then you guys come out, like, screaming. (laughs) You know, like, that's, like, that's my favorite part. We've all known that couple, right? (laughs) Yeah. Fuccini perfection, 100%. I think we've all been that couple. Come on, Lauren. (laughs) Maybe not you. (laughs) Oh, boy. (laughs) Love you, other Lauren. (laughs) Not so much our dynamic. (laughs) Yeah, no. Ah, oh, Rodolfo. Somebody said, show off that yellow scarf. Oh, yeah, did they? Bish. <laughs> so pretty. Oh, man, these are so great. Oh, Alfredo said, love you all. This is my favorite act, and you're all superstars. Too bad love intermission you, is a week long. Aww. Love you, Alfredo. Oh, goodness. Rosemary is uh, one of my friends, Rosemary Nielsen, who's who's commenting about your scarf. She sings in my church choir, and she's amazing. Oh, Such a yay. great lady. Thank you, Rosemary. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is the, this is really wonderful, you guys. Um, the comment that I keep getting from people is, is how important art is during this time when we feel so separated from each other. And I really uh, I love that I can share this with you. Like, it makes such a... It makes me feel so good that I can share this with you. So thank you. How many times have we played these characters? (laughs) Um, I've played Mimi three times. Three times. This is my third time. Yeah. (laughs) Four for me. Four. Okay. My second time doing Marcello. This is my second. My first was with Joe. Um, as Mimi and but I want to give a little shout out to Dr. Andrew Campbell if he's still watching because he is the um, part of the collaborative piano faculty at ASU and I sang for their auditions and Musetta's Waltz was one of the songs so I've probably sung that aria like 250 times that's an exaggeration but not by much (laughs) (laughs) I'm always like what do I sing what do I give somebody for an audition when I'm singing for Marcello or Puccini like it's tough I'm like it's hard and I'm like hey can you wait until next week and then I'll have this video of this duet (laughs) yeah that's perfect send you that Send you I know we should do redo Donde de Eta so I can actually send that to people. <laughs> redo it? Why? Um, I missed the so beginning. <laughs> what if you do it tomorrow? Your internet you talk went back? out. Yeah. Oh. Ah, oh, I want to have fun yeah. tomorrow. That's fair. But yeah, okay, maybe. Think about it. Come tomorrow, guys. You might see Donde de Eta. Maybe. No, 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 Or you could just look on my Facebook wall oh, and, see, yeah. and see Bernard's from today. 
<laughs> it was only the first line. It was so good, though. <laughs> I'm here for that gender bend. We should try that sometime. We should but, totally well, you know, that. like next, like in like a few years. <laughs> okay. so I got some shit to do yeah. right now. She's I mean, stuff. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of texts from what people, too. Shit. <laughs> do you have any questions, Jim? Oh, no, just getting a lot of compliments for all of you. Oh, um, that's so sweet. Yeah, uh, one of my friends just couldn't get the chat to work on her platform, so. Um, uh, but other people have been sending things, too, so. Cool. Yeah, saying kudos and stuff like that. Thank you guys so much for coming tonight. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yeah, for your patience. You. Look forward yeah. to the dance of the men in Act 4. Ooh. And also all the drama. Bring on the men. Yeah. yeah. Bring tissues. <laughs> Bring lots of tissues. Um, join us tomorrow night for our Act 3 watch party. It is super fun. It'll be exciting. Um, this week we're joined by Corey Mills of Chicago Kids Company. Oh, Andrew, don't make that face. <laughs> it's like a Blair Witch Project moment. Oh, cool. <laughs> Ask so where we'll be next week. <laughs> Why is this happening? On the 29th, join us then. <laughs> Please like and subscribe to my channel. Like, like the video, subscribe to my channel. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and hit the bell so you can be reminded when she uploads videos. Yes, and hit the and, bell. And I yes. believe everyone's information's below the video with the synopsis and all that. The, the synopsis and the um, and everyone's uh, Venmo, PayPal, you name it, information is there. If you feel generous enough to donate to the artists you have seen and perform for you tonight, um, if you don't have any of those options, please email me, joannamoffitt.kor at gmail.com. And... Uh, and all of our information about where you can follow us or how you can contact us is also below. So thank you guys. Thank you all. Have a good night, Have a wonderful everybody. night. Bye. Bye. Bye.